volcanic rock have undergone erosion, see, to form what we call the, the deposition rocks right now have undergone what we call uh, uh, processes uh, including weathering, later on the material get deposited somewhere forming uh, different type of soil, Exam examples the alluvial soil found at the, at the river mouth. Thank you. You are watching Darasa Online. Okay, let's see the fourth question right here. Uh, it's written, uh, the presence of rural and urban are influencing the area to be urban or rural. So, as you, uh, you can read the question right here, the key needs of the question, it need, I mean, it requires us to explain factors that influence the area to be urban or rural. How is urban or rural area seen on a map. So urban area on a map can be represented by dot mixed with very small rectangle or squares. Listen to me very careful. We use squares, many small squares, see, found on a map. It's found a lot drawn on a mapped area. It means the area which automatically uh, the urban area. But the rural area Rural area, it is represented by very few, only one, the rectangular or the square dot, like this one. So it is still the rural area. This is rural area. Rural area. So in either urban or rural area, we may find some smallest type of what? Of settlement. Either in rural, we may find nucleated, we may find um, scattered, and we may find the linear, the linear settlement, as well as in rural. In rural also we may find the nucleated, the scattered, as well as what? The linear. We all know what is nucleated. It means nucleated if there the is compacted of many settlements in one area. Uh, scattered, it means the dispersed of uh, settlement in different areas. While the linear, you find uh, the arrangement of settlement along either the river, the railway or roads. You see, those are the pattern of the of the settlement. So, as I can explain, all the, as the question need right now, it need us to, not to explain type of settlement found on the map here. It need us to explain the factors that has influenced the area on the map to be either urban or the rural area. So, let's see the factors. Factors are. Let me explain the factor right here. Factors that influence the area on a map to be either urban or rural area. We have many factors. Factors influencing the area to be urban or rural area. It means we have two factors right here, right now. Right now, we have the pull factors as well as the push factors. Push factors. So remember, the pull factor are the ones who attract people to move to the area of destination, maybe because there is good uh, in employment, there is good in social security, etc., etc. Those are the pull factors. The push factor are the factors that remove people from the area of origin to a certain destination. It means uh, we have a factor which causes you to move from where you are to somewhere else because of maybe you don't want to stay to the area of origin. You want to go to somewhere else. Maybe, uh, let me take an example of push factor, uh, for instance, maybe civil war, you see. Uh, unemployment, etc., etc. So, in general, because we, I mean, the question needs us to explain factors that may influence the area on a map either to be uh, rural or urban. So, we read the general factor, see? I, I mean, the general factor. So, let's take uh, the first factor is maybe the climatic condition, the climatic factors, see? For instance, uh, temperature rainfall, you see, etc., etc. Some people, they move to area of origin somewhere else because maybe the area where they are right now, it is too hot. And if they do not want to stay or to live in an area of too, which is too hot, it means they may shift to the area where the temperature of that area is moderate. See? Rainfall, for, I mean rainfall, the presence of rainfall. Rainfall may also influence people to shift from one area to another area. For instance, uh, people who are involved in agricultural activity. If they are in area where there is little or no rainfall, automatically they may shift to the area where there is uh, high rainfall uh, in order for them to do the agricultural activity. That's the first point. Then uh, we have the soil. 
all the edafic factor the soil or the edafic what edafic factors are uh, most of the people they tend or likely to live in the area of good soil see for ag agricultural reason but most of the people sometimes they may shift from one area to another area to look for good soil so we have the soil or the edafic factor then from there nature of the relief nature of the relief the general appearance of the land surface it may influence the area to be urban or rural for instance most of the people they likely to live in area where there is no high mountain with steep slopes remember in area of high rain, I mean high mountain or area of highland area with steep slopes it's the area where you cannot establish settlement in easy way see it's the area where um, for instance the construction of road is hard so you may find nature of the relief may influence the area to be either rural or urban. For instance, most of the urban areas, they are located in a lowland area. And most of the rural areas, sometimes, you may find very few houses or settlement around, I mean, around the, or along mountains, slopes. Why? Because the nature of the relief has influenced you to shift from one area to another area, depending on how people want to live uh, according to different activities that they may conduct in those areas. So nature of the relief may influence people to live the area, or may influence the area to be urban or what? Or rural. We have the nature of the security. We say defense and security. Defense, defense and what? And security. Most of the people, they are likely to live in the area of political stability. So in area where there is political instability, it, be, it means most of the people they tend to shift to the area where they thought there is political stability in terms of um, wars, uh, civil wars, etc., etc. So you may find area with good defense and security, there is more people there. See, where while area with uh, good, I mean, no, 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 area of insecurity or less defense and security there is few people over there. Uh, then we have nature of the transport, nature of transport and communication. This is another factor that may affect the area to be rural or urban. As you can see, uh, most of the urban area, they have good transport and communi communication facilities compared to rural areas. So most of the people in the rural areas, they may shift to urban area uh, only depending on the nature of transport uh, of a given area. Then from there, we have what we call the relation factor, relation, relationship factors. Some people, they may move to different areas de depending on the relationship of a particular issue that they may face. For instance, marriage, education, etc., etc. Then we have another factor. Natural hazards or we call them calamites. You see, the presence of natural hazards, for instance, uh, presence of floods may cause people to shift from the area of the original to somewhere else. Earthquake, volcanic eruption, uh, outbreak of diseases may cause people to shift from the area of origin to somewhere else. So these are among the factors that may, may cause the area to be rural or urban. And remember, remember sometime uh, we consider the area to be rural because of the presence of few people, see? So the presence of, people, of few people, they may not allow, uh, for instance, the government to establish good roads, provide good social services, you see, good market, you see the presence of postal and police posts in large amount. Why? Because there are few people there. That's why we say this is a common factor that may cause the area either to be urban or rural area. So, uh, by summarizing the lesson today, please, uh, in map question, remember this.
because I did not show in my explanation right here because I do not have the map sheet exactly. But if you are uh, in a class, for instance, and you have your map sheet, so remember to cite or to show the reference once answering this kind of question. You have to show maybe uh, this point, maybe the eastern part of my map, it seems to have, for instance, in soil, the question which is related to soil. We have this type of soil because of one, two, three. Or oh, this part of my map, the northern eastern part of my map, due to the presence of highland area, which is, uh, maybe the central part of my map, we have this type of vegetation. So it is very to cite or to show the reference during answering this kind of question, especially in map reading and what? And interpretation. So until the next time.